Well, one thing that I like to do for hand independence, and I've mentioned this before, is I like to come up with a, a left hand part and keep it the same. You know, so like uh, if, if I keep the left hand the same, and then try and improvise freely with my right hand over it, that really helps, without having to like play crazy lines in each hand. But even if I came up with something like. with hand independence. I suppose, what if instead of playing this in my left hand, instead of playing that, what if I played? That's really good for hand independence. Um, now, but interestingly, in, in both those cases, one hand, I wasn't improvising, of course, I wasn't improvising in both hands at the same time. So whether the left hand was playing this, which is a short phrase, or that's a long phrase, but it still is set, you know. And if one hand is set, and is really secure, then I think in, a, in an ideal sense, the other hand should be able to play anything over it, right? I, mean, I don't want to be obnoxious, but uh, for example, that kind of freedom. I have another idea that I'm kind of thinking about. Like if I went like this in my left hand, just like the energy of an eighth note. if I can keep this energy going. <laughs> For example, but now if I start, instead of just playing two notes, if I play
don't know, something like that.